As far as the process itself though, you come in, you do a consultation, whether it's a short one or a long one. Um, we kind of go over the design together, make sure that you like what you're gonna have. I kind of show you how it's gonna fit on your body, where it'll stay, how it's gonna wear. If you like it, we can make it permanent. Um, if you wanna change things up, it's always something that I'm open to. You know, I'm always looking to satisfy the customer. And the nice thing about you know putting a tattoo on somebody is that they, they have it all the time. They take it everywhere. They're always wearing what you've given them. Um, obviously until they're not around anymore and then it's gone forever. There's people that will, you know, medicate in different ways to get tattooed. There's people who will bring, um, you know, someone with them just to kind of help them stay comfortable. We try to create an environment here at our shop that it's like very low key, very um, relaxed. We're trying in every aspect to keep the client uh, comfortable and happy and help them get through their tattoo. Um, you definitely have to earn it. You know, there's a lot of things nowadays where people are trying to numb it or they're trying to get rid of the pain before they even receive it. And I just, that's that's kind of silly to me. Like this is something that's kind of primitive and it's, it's existed for a long time. And for hundreds of years, people got them without any sort of, you know, uh, remedy. You know, you gotta suffer through it to earn the right to wear it. And I, I still feel that way. You know, if, if, you're, if you're gonna take the leap and get a tattoo, you should, you should feel it, you should experience it, you should feel alive and, and go through the motions of it. So as far as reputation, you know, that's, that's the biggest thing you've got is, is what people are saying about you. So um, try to not pay attention to that, but at some point you, you kind of also have to, you know, like um, it, is, it is your livelihood. I've been tattooed for 16 years and in the early phases of that, maybe it was just regionally like where I lived, but I definitely, you know, I was a high school student when I started getting tattooed. Some of the parents would tell the kids, oh, you can't hang out with him anymore now because he's got tattoos and he's a bad person. Um, you know, I, I've always, since even before I was a tattooer, have tried to break stereotypes about what a tattooed person is. So I'm, I'm the guy with sleeves holding doors for old ladies and, you know, trying to, trying to break, you know, people's misconceptions about, you know, criminals and, and people, uh, you know, certain demographics only being tattooed. But it's always been doctors. It's always been garbage men. It's always been a wide variety of, of people. Um, it was never just a certain class. That was just like the stereotype that was, was there. The years I've mostly been focused on drawing and painting. Um, I've also done sculpture, pottery, glass blowing. Um, but the biggest I would say that's still relevant to me is definitely drawing and painting. When we're not tattooing, that's a big part of what we do. Most of the stuff you see in here was either made by us or our friends. Um, but that's always helping us get better and, and pushing us, you know, closer to where we want to be. I don't know that I have like a best tattoo. I like to think that the newest thing that I made is my best piece, you know, because I'm always progressing and working. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm the type of artist that as soon as I'm, I'm done with something, I look at it for what it is and I take what I like about it and I move on. And I also keep in mind the things that I feel like maybe I fell short in this area. So the next time I do a snake, I'm going to do it this way. Or the next time I do it, maybe I'll try it this way. I'm always experimenting. I'm always trying to grow. Um, I'm trying to, you know, be influenced and do my studying from, you know, the people who have come before me. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's always an opportunity to get better.